Are you struggling to need surfaces in SOLIDWORKS? Or is checking a part giving you a hard time? These two issues are super common, but the fixes are easier than you think. Let me show you step by step how to solve them. Let us first talk about why these errors happen in the first place. The knitting surfaces can fail when there are tiny gaps, misaligned edges, and when the edges are intersecting with each other. So, talking about the thickened part, the thickened tool fails when the surfaces of the part intersecting with each other while thickening. In all the three methods, you can see the surfaces are intersecting to each other. And if your geometry has more unnecessary edges, it will also fail. Let me show you how to fix them. To make it possible, we need to first check invalid geometries and gaps in our model. To do that, go to evaluate and select the option check. And here select maximum age gap. And just click run. So here you can see. The model does not have any invalid edges and the faces, but it does contain gaps between the edges. So you can see here the value. Okay, this is the one method that you can check the gaps, and the other method lies in the knit surface itself. Go to knit surface, and here you can see the tolerance keep range. So you can just increase the range and select the surfaces. So it will show you the gaps between the surfaces. And when you select each of them, it will highlight the model. So let us try to solve this. It's a mirror body. Yes, it's a feature part. Let us see how it's been created. Okay. We will try to make this 3D sketch more precise to the geometry. As you can see, there are only two points. So we will try to add more points to control the spline. Just make the point coincident with the surface edge. Now let us check if there are any gaps left or not. No. Just exit. So as you can see this gap is now solved. So you need to first remove your gaps in the model. The second thing, remove the unwanted geometry like this one. We can generate a smoother surface here by using delete face command. So I don't want to only delete this but want to fill this. Make sure you don't select tangent if your surfaces are not knitted together. Just click OK and now you can see it has a smoother surface. This face is also a splitted, so we will try to knit this. Yes, you can see here it's a different body. So let us try to first knit it. I hope this works. And yes, and we will only need to delete this, not to fill this. Just click OK. After that, we will try to fill this surface using the surface fill command. Select the uh, three edges. Now 
There we go. Click OK. So now we have a better geometry. Let me just replace the new geometry and we will just mirror the newer one. Before that, we need to delete the older geometry. Go to direct editing, select delete keep body command. So this feature is helpful when you don't want to make changes in your features. So your design tree will stay as it is as earlier. Now we will mirror it. Let us see the right plane for it. I think the top plane is a symmetric plane. Now select top plane, go to mirror, then select bodies here, select the surfaces. And click OK. I think there are some issues here. You can see this surface is outside the edge, and the other one is intersecting to the surface. I think the geometry is in the symmetry. We just have to check it out. Now go to surface swap and select the cross section part, then go to edit. As you can see, there isn't any relations or dimension. We first apply dimension that it won't change the feature size. Okay and then we will add a relation the horizontal relation which makes it symmetry as you can see there is no symmetry between the endpoints so we will add a construction line to make them define now click exit and i think our issue is resolved now Okay, you can now see here. Yes, that looks good. So, let us knit all the surfaces together. Press Ctrl A to select all the surfaces. Select Merge Entities and click OK. Yes, you can see all the surfaces are knitted together. Now we will try to tick this. I think for the outer side it is possible that it easily create but let us try to thicken in the inside. So select inside. And here we go. We have our thickened body. And that's how you fix thick and knitting issues in SOLIDWORKS. If you found this helpful, hit like and share this video with someone who is stuck on this problem. And let me know in the comments what other SOLIDWORKS errors do you want me to troubleshoot. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips. See you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.